Aloha everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're watching me right now. So today, we're gonna be talking about how to get a job here in Canada as a student for Filipinos. I'm going to be sharing my own experiences and how I submitted my resume, how I did do the interview. So if you're a student here in Vancouver or anywhere in, in Canada, the only allowable hours for a student is 20 hours. So the regular, if you're not a student, you can work up to 40 hours a week. If you're just a student, then you can only work for 20 hours. That's the only limit that you can work for a week. It's important that you make sure that you don't work in excess to 20 hours because you will have a problem in the future. Let me tell you how I got my work job here in Vancouver. So basically, I arrived here in Canada April, uh, last week of April. And then on the first week, all I did was I got all the necessary documents like my social security number. I went to my school to get my ID and other important stuff. So I didn't really thought about like applying for jobs because you need to have things like social security number and also your own bank account so you have to process that first before you submit a resume or something like that so as a student you really can't expect to be working in a uh, like a clerical job if in the Philippines you're working as accounting assistant like a manager it's totally different here in Canada since you're a student you have to understand that you can't possibly have a job that's similar to what you have in the Philippines. You don't really care about your past experience if it's not in Canada, so you have to have that Canadian experience. After that first week, I decided I would be submitting my resume online because almost every establishment here have, have online sites, so you just have to submit your resume through online. So I just picked a couple of places that I would be sending resumes. So I picked um, Starbucks, I did I think I did try Tim Hortons, or maybe not, I, I don't remember. Uh, and then I also did the Save On Foods. A little tip if you're worried about what to wear on the interview, it basically depends. So if you're just going for an inter interview for like a restaurant or like a grocery store, you don't have to like really dress up for it. So what I wore during my interviews, during my I only had two interviews for the Starbucks and for the Save On Foods. Um, for the Starbucks, I was just wearing um, blue jeans and I was wearing this blouse and a what do you call that like uh, it's kind of like a formal jacket but it's not but not really too formal so yeah you don't have to wear you know like like pencil skirt or whatever it is that you wear on like corporate interview so it's okay to be a little bit laid back when it comes to the interview on restaurants and you don't have to worry about stuff like that you just have to be you but you know, just don't wear shorts or anything too casual. I would say, um, you know, pants is, is okay. So another tip is if you don't feel like submitting online, actually a lot of people have been recommending me to just pass my resume in store personally. So if I were you, if you're not comfortable submitting your application online because you're not too sure if they're going to receive it or, or what, just print out a couple of resumes, say 20 resumes, and you know, go door by door to different shops and just look for the manager like, Hi, good morning. I'm looking for the manager or anyone who could accept my resume. Um, and then, you know, the staff would guide you, tell you like, oh, I can do that. I can pass that to our manager. So yeah, you're good to go. I usually, I think a lot of people have been telling me that it's more effective that way. If you do that personally, especially on like small places, if you're like planning to just apply for like a really you know, like small restaurant or like a small grocery store. So it's kind of like more practical if you just hand them over the resume personally instead of like online because um, like the chances are very small for them to like click it online. If you want to just make sure submit online and submit personally, I submitted my application, my resume online and I don't know if I was really lucky or if the timing was just really right. So I got a call a week after that I will be having my interview which is the Save One Foods. Save One Foods is basically like a Walmart. No, I would say it's kind of like SM Supermart. So it's a really big place, like a really big grocery store with like a kitchen department, um, pharmacy. So it's basically like a really complete package for a grocery store. And then so I went, I went for the interview and 
I was asked about a lot of things like, oh, how long have you been here in Canada? And I told them I've only been in Canada for like a month. And I was just like really being friendly and very chatty. So he kind of asked me some serious questions like, um, so tell me about your three best qualities. And I was kind of surprised with the question because honestly, I did not prepare for anything. Like I did not look for what to say. If you were asked like, what's your best qualities? What's your weaknesses? What's your strengths? So when I was asked that, I was like shocked. But of course I didn't show it to the interviewer that I was like thrown away by the question. So I was like, Oh, my best qualities are, you know, I'm impatient, I like helping people, and I'm a multitasker. I was just really glad that I was able to answer that. At the end of the in interview, she was like, Okay, so I'm gonna be sending you a background check on your email, you just have to go through it. After that, that's it. And I was like, kind of confused, because what does that mean? He told me, Oh, you know what, Claire? I don't really do this often, but I really think that you're a very uh, responsible person, so you're hired. I really couldn't contain myself, so I was like literally like, yes, thank you, thank you. So yeah, <laughs> I was really happy because like finally I had a job, but it's not like I was really looking for a job. Yeah, I, I guess I was just kind of bored because I only have two days a week for my classes and also having a little earning is better than nothing, right? About my work, I am working as a restaurant clerk at Save On Foods. I was actually asked if I wanted to be assigned in uh, the cashier or the, the kitchen department. And I initially told my interviewer that, well, I, I'd go for the cashier position because I have no idea or like I have no experience in kitchen jobs. And he goes like, okay, okay, but you know what? Uh, if you're gonna be um, in the kitchen department, you don't have to worry because we're gonna train you. You're gonna have like workshops and stuff like that. And so me being the adventurous one, I told him, Oh sure, of course, if there's gonna be a workshop and I'm gonna be trained and everything, then that would be okay. So, ta-da, I'm working in the kitchen department. It's not that bad, right? Just remember, any job is hard. Any job is, you know, it's gonna be very tiring, but you have to experience that because you need well you need money and you need most importantly you need Canadian experience and you don't have to feel ashamed if you're thinking like oh in the Philippines I'm working as a supervisor but here I'm just working as you know like a dishwasher like a janitor you don't really have to be worried about that because everyone has to go through the same thing with you and um, you know the pay is pretty nice too just don't forget you only have to work 20 hours as a student even though I only have two days a week for classes, I still find it hard to balance my work and study period because there's a lot of homework, a lot of projects to make. So it's not really that easy to like make time for everything that you want to do. If you still don't have work for the meantime, that's fine. Enjoy your free time because once you have a work already, you're going to be a hell lot busy. If you guys want me to make a video about something, uh, just comment down below and let's try to make a video about it. And for those of you who are processing their papers right now, good luck and just pray and hope for the best. And I hope for the best. And if you guys are um, planning to go here in Vancouver as a student, hit me up on any social media and we'll meet. Okay? I love meeting people. I hope to see you guys on my next video. So please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Since you're here already, please don't forget to subscribe. And I love you all so much. Bye. May 3rd birthday today, so yesterday was my orientation at Langara where I met this Filipino girl.